Hello, my name is Elizabeth Barker. This is my 25th year teaching art at Lebanon High School in Southwest Missouri. And our last day of school was March 16th. Things were changing uh, rapidly and uh, the schedule and life as we knew it were about to change. So we had just enough time to get together um, some kind of plans to send students home with work. We really don't know how long it will be before we get to go back to school. It's been, it's been a process of grief. You know, normally when we have unexpected days out of school, it's because of a weather event, it's because of ice or snow, and we usually look forward to those days. Those, those are fun days. Um, this is not fun. This is, uh, this is something completely different. I've been spending time making um, a studio here at home. So this is my space. I'm lucky to have this space in my basement. I have a potter's wheel, I have an easel, and the first space I prepared is actually uh, upstairs in my loft. It's where I have a desktop computer and I have a webcam so that I can teleconference with my students. So a handful show up and it's really good to see their faces and to be able to interact. I've been trying to make some demo videos, uh, some things uh, for teaching purposes, and you know, just learn to do some things that I never took any, I never took the time to, to do a time-lapse video. And so I'm making it a priority to draw at least once a day and to put that stuff out there. It's helping me to cope with uncertainty and to just focus on the, the moment. It's, it's a meditative activity. I've tried painting with coffee and uh, I think tomorrow I'm gonna try to do some kind of drawing outside, uh, maybe with charcoal. Um, maybe with sidewalk chalk. I know that uh, kids are getting involved with putting that out there and that's helping to make uh, the world a little bit more pleasant uh, during a difficult and unprecedented time and it's helping to remind us that we're all in this together. So this is, this is my sketchbook. This is a little drawing that I did today while I was uh, Zoom conferencing with students. So I mean, the first couple days, we just kind of sat there and looked at each other and talked about our daily schedule. Now when they get on there, I try to be drawing something and I'm encouraging them to, to do the same. And so it's, it's, it's been really gratifying when I look up and I see that kids are in the art making process uh, in the teleconference. Um, that's, it's, it's not the same as being in a classroom together, but it's at least making some connections and you know, I'm trying to uh, help them see that this is a way of processing and recording and that's what art is all about. So one of the things that I'm hoping to do with um, some of the artwork that's being created uh, during the quarantine is possibly to sell it or auction it off to benefit an event coming up next March called the Lebanon High School Globally Strong Culture Fair. The purpose of the culture fair is to bring the world to Lebanon High School. We can't do that in a physical sense right now um, during this time of social distancing, but we are looking for ways to do it virtually. So since unfortunately we were unable to attend our annual um, field trip to Kansas City. Next week, we're gonna be looking at some of those same destinations um, in a virtual sense. So we're gonna have some virtual guests um, in our teleconferencing, and we're gonna take some virtual uh, trips to some museums. Um, in the meantime, we are looking forward to hopefully when we've flattened the curve and we all can gather the culture fair is scheduled for March of 2021. And so in the meantime, we're hoping that we can raise some money to make this a successful event.